Hello there. In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to format your nice shiny new SSD on a Mac for use with your sample libraries. Because by default, a lot of these SSDs come formatted as XFAT. And XFAT, although very useful for being able to use the disk on Mac and Windows, is absolutely not good for sample playback. For example, pianos like to strum as if they were guitars. They are not. Don't quit your day job, pianos. You're a piano. If you play a massive chord, when you've got a piano on a disc like this, it will be bad for you. Also, you will find that you have rendering issues, offline dropouts, all sorts of notes going away where they shouldn't be, and very, very, very slow load times. So let me show you quickly how to format this disc as APFS or HPFS for Mac, if that's what it's called. I always forget. No Mac OS Extended, isn't it? Mac OS Extended. But we're going to use APFS in this instance. This is also being shown on screen for those of you who can see, but for my blind followers, you will hear speech. So for those of you who can see and you hear speech, that is why. I have a lot of blind followers, including myself. I don't follow myself. Uh, and you'll hear speech in this, in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. You can load disk utility two ways. This is the app we need. You can do it via spotlight by doing command space and typing the word disk and pressing enter, or you can go via utilities. Pick your poison. If you're going to go via utilities, which I'm not, you can go to Finder with Command Tab until you reach Finder, do Command Shift U, and then type Disk, and then open it with Command O or Command Down Arrow. I will use Spotlight. I will do Command Space. Spotlight. I will type Disk. Dim disk Utility Cell Two Item. And I'll press Completion Selected. Find Disk Utility. And now we wait. It populates my disk table here. Come Apple OS Update. Which it's now done. And there are a few items in this list. Let's have a quick look through this list using normal up and down cursors. No voiceover keys needed at this time. Date Macintosh HD. Okay, that's my main drive. Come Apple OS. Come Apple OS update. 30. There's an update for some reason. Data. Data. 500 gigabytes. Eject. Eject. 500 gigabytes. Eject. Eject button. That's the disk we're going to be formatting. And there's nothing else other than this. So you would think that you could just format this disk uh, and turn it into APFS, but you'd be wrong. Um, there's a couple of ways to get to the next part. You can do VO Shift M if you want to get into the context menu or do a two finger click on your trackpad if you like. But we're going to tab around to the erase button. Just simple tab key. Eject button. 500 gigabytes. View menu button. First aid. Erase button. Erase. In dialogue, 500 gigabytes. Content selected. Edit text. Erase 500 GB. Erasing 500 GB will permanently erase all data stored on it. You can't undo this action. Name. Format. Xfat. Pop up button. So I've tabbed once and the button is Xfat, which is what we don't want. So let's hit space on this and see what we see. And also what we don't see. Menu tick, Xfat. Microsoft NTFS, XFS4, XFS2, XFS3, Mac OS Extended, J Mac OS Extended, Case Sensitive, MS DOS, tick, Xfat. We don't see APFS in here. And that is because we must change the partition type before we do this. So let's back out of this window and go change the partition type. And this is where it might get a little complicated, but don't worry, you can do it. If you do want to format it as the old school Mac OS extended, then you can do that too. But I would recommend APF samples, especially these days. So let's hit escape. Exact. Pop up button. Disk selection table. And I pressed escape again to go back to the main disk selection table. Now, what you have to do at this point uh, is press command and two if you want to do it via the keyboard shortcut way, which I do. So command two shows us all the data and drives and stuff connected. Right now we're just seeing volumes. Show all devices, ticked, 500 gigabytes. So now we show all devices and this is what we need to do. So if we go up to Samsung portable SSD T5 media, eject, eject button. Bit more. Data. Come Apple OS update. Oh, no, I was right. Samsung portable SSD T5 media, eject, eject button. This is the actual disk type that it is. This is a Samsung T5 portable. It's 500 gigabytes. It's not very big by today's standards, but this is what we need to change. So we'll go back into the arrays part and we will see what we can see. Expanded, eject, button, view, first aid, erase, button. I've tabbed around again, I'm gonna press space. In dialogue, untitled, content selected, edit text, erase Samsung portable SSD T5 media. Erasing, same again. Mac OS extended, journaled, pop up button. So now it shows us Mac OS extended journaled instead of XFAT, but we're gonna change, um, not this yet. Master boot record, pop up button. I tabbed one more time. And we're going to change this from master boot record. This is the partition type to GPT. Menu so I press space. Apple partition, good partition map. And it's a good partition map, GPT. So we press enter on good partition map. Good partition map, pop up button. And then we can shift tab again. Mac OS extended, journaled. 
pop up button. And then we can change this hopefully to APFS. Menu take Mac OS MS DOS XFAT Microsoft XFS 4 XFS XF APFS. Here we go. APFS. Yes, yeah, speech does say things a bit weirdly sometimes. APFS pop up button. So there we go. Now we can label this disk if we want. Untitled content selected. Edit I text. will call it, you know, uh, let's call it test disk. Selection test. Luckily, this is something disk. I do not need to keep, so I don't mind if I erase it. So we will now tab around to the erase button. A PF good partition now. Cancel but erase button. And hit this. Expanded disclosure triangle. Erasing Samsung portable SSD T5 media and creating test disk. Creating the partition map. Hide details. Don't. And there is a table. We can tab into the table and we can cursor up and down in this table and read the output. Table and mounting disk. Selected. Waiting for partitions. Formatting disk success to as Mac OS extended. Journaled with name test disk. Initialize slash dev slash what disk success. Initial mounting disk. Mount creating a new empty APFS container. Creating a new empty APFS container. It's updating as I cursor through it. So sometimes you may find that it's reading a bit weirdly. But as long as the last few lines look good, I'll do command down arrow to get to the end of the table. And mounting volume. Switch and mounting. Switch creating a created. Prepare cre created. Mounting a PFS volume. Setting volume permission. Empty cell. Operation successful. Operation successful. This looks good. Okay, so I'll press enter to come out of this table. And disk selection table. Table. Samsung portable SSD T5 media. Eject eject button. I'll go down. Selected. Container disk 7. Test disk, eject, eject button. And there it says test disk. And so we've definitely formatted it because the name of the disk has changed from 500 GB to test disk. So let's see what the kind of format of the disk is. If I do command I for information, hopefully we'll get some info about this disk um, and be able to read what it says. Get info, test disk info, window, busy, progress indicator, test disk info, window, busy, pro. Owl tab, table. And here's another table and we can read it with our or normal cursors. Volume name, volume type. A PSD device node, oh. volume type, a PFS volume. Yeah, there we go. So it's changed from XFAT to a PFS slash a PFS, and we're all good now. PSD device node, mount point, slash volume slash test disk. So it's looking good. If I close disk utility with command Q, hopefully I can. Finder. Yes. Yeah. Let's go to computer with command shift C or however you want to do that. Computer and raise MacBook Pro 2 window. Let's go down to test disk. Macintosh HD network. Test disk volume. Eject button. And just to double check that it really is working correctly, I will do command I now in computer and it should also say APFS here. Let's have a look. Get info. Test disk info. Window. Test disk. Image. T today. My note. Tag editor. Add tag. General. It volume. Can't. I'm using voiceover keys, by the way, now voiceover right to go down the screen. The 17th of March, 2021 at 906. Created. The 17th of March, 2021 at 906. Modified. A PFS. Format. A PFS. Format. So we've changed our disk from XFAT with master boot record MBR to GID partition type uh, GPT and formatted the disk as A PFS. And that is the end of this tutorial. It's as easy as that. I say easy, it's maybe feeling a bit complicated and overwhelming, but you can do it. And I hope this benefits somebody because if you're installing something like Contact or Complete Instruments or, well, anything that requires samples on a Mac, you definitely do not want to use XFAT. I mean it, trust me on this, I've done it, I've seen people do it. It is heartache and horrible badness. Please don't do it. Thanks for listening or watching. See you next time.